and turns. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've always loved to write. And I've always said, I'm, I'm going to write a book. I'm going to write a book uh, for years. And finally, um, I, I was like, girl, you either going to write this book or shut up about it. Because I was tired of hearing mm -hmm. my own. I was my own self talk about it. And so finally I sat down and um I said, this is it. And so this book coming out, it's been a long process. Mm -hmm. like a long process. And I totally understand when authors say it took me 10 years to get this book in front of people. I, mm -hmm. I get that because life gets in the way. You know, I started the book year, probably 2017. And wow. I would do a little bit, do a little bit, do a little bit, stop. Wow. And then finally I said, you know what? You're going to sit down and you're going to write a thousand words a day. Didn't know how long a book was supposed to be. Didn't know. I didn't know anything. I saw, I started researching. And I was like, oh, okay, 65, 75,000 words. That sounds, you know, doable. Mm -hmm. And so I did. I sat down and every... I didn't do it every single day, but almost every day. And but I had to do at least a thousand words. So I was I had to come up with something, mm -hmm. you know, to put on this paper. Uh, and and I and once I started, it just the story kind of told itself. But I did go back and make some. I was like, nah, I gotta put something juicy there. I've gotta, you know, put a twist or a spin there. Uh, it's too bored. I would I want to read it, mm -hmm. and so I did that a few times. But I pro I'll try. I said I'm gonna finish this book by December 31st, mm -hmm. 2017, and I finished it January 1st, 2018. Oh, and I was done. No edits, no nothing. But I finally had something on paper. Mm -hmm. You know, like that was the big thing. You finally got it down. Yep. Now we can start doing everything that comes after. Well, yep. then life gets in the way. So I put it down mm -hmm. and I probably didn't pick it back up to the summer. And it's like, oh, well, now what am I supposed to do? I've got something in my hand, but you know, it's everything that comes after all the stuff that you helped me with to get it mm -hmm. in front of people um, is what I didn't know. It's like, you don't know what you don't know. So yeah. I was trying to research and live and between layoffs and kids and family issues or whatever, you just yeah. keep putting it down because that's not a priority. You know, that's not up here. It's like, I've got to all, do all these other things. Anyway, uh, finally we connected. And from there, we just, you know, we've been nonstop, I think. And even you and I, like last year I was in the hospital. It was like, oh, so that mm -hmm. delayed it. And it's always something. We were having a conversation awesome. right before this. It's, it's always something. But we yes. said, I said, this time we're going to see it through. And so we did. So again, if, if, if you're thinking about writing or you've always wanted to, it is not linear. It is all, you know, it's a roller coaster. And if, if it is, then it goes from start to finish and you don't have any hiccups. I, I may be scared to read the book. <laughs> it's, it's never, it is Can you never please that say that again? It, it, it's, and then you, you edit, you rewrite, you come back and look at it and you go, oh, what was I thinking? Or something happens and you're like, oh, I could incorporate that in the book. It's a process. It is a mm -hmm. process. It, it is a, um, but you know what? The, I always tell people, just trust the process. Trust mm -hmm. that process. And I take these books so serious, like they're my own because somebody trusted me with their baby. Cause that's what I call the books, the babies. And if somebody trusting you with their book, their vision, you don't play with it. And so um, I'm just glad that you trusted me with the process and um, you allow me to be able to say, okay, here's some feedback um, or what have you. Um, let's, let's change it up this, let's change up that. Or what do you think about this? Or you were so open to it and making it your best, putting your best out there. And that's what made this book absolutely amazing. And now people can't put the book down. That's what it's about to be able to say, you know what? I did it. Even when life turned through 
um, curveballs at me. I did it. Even when I wanted to throw in a towel and say, maybe this not for me, you still follow yes. through and you did it. That's the most important thing is showing up for yourself because you deserve it. And once you see that you deserve it, you can't go wrong. You can't mm-hmm. go wrong. <laughs> you that's, that's a good thing. Trust the process because mm-hmm. whether you're trying to lose weight or write a book or whatever, it, it, that's so true. If you just stay committed or dedicated and just keep chipping away at it, eventually you'll get there. Absolutely. Absolutely. What's one of the things that you would tell someone who was thinking about just really going all the way in with your, with, with the vision of them writing a book? You know, when you scared, when you don't want to do it, when you don't know who to trust, you know, all of those things. What would you just say? You know what? What would you tell them? Someone that wants to, you said. That wants to, and somebody done gave up. Somebody didn't believe in them. They didn't have that support because I I hear that a lot. Where people was like, I don't think somebody will read this. This don't, mm mm-mm. And what would you tell that person? So, well, a couple of different things uh, come to mind. One, are you, are you, do you want to write the book and sell it and become a millionaire off of this book? Everybody wants to do that. But like, is that your main goal? Like mine was to just get it down on paper, like just fulfill something that I told myself years ago that I wanted to do. So that was the first thing, like, Girl, just get it down on paper. Mm-hmm. Um, and sometimes you're your only cheerleader. And, and unfortunately, that's true in some cases. I I have had a great support system um, out there. I can't say anything but great things about them. But sometimes, in those, you know, in that dark hour, people aren't mm-hmm. calling, people aren't texting. You have got to just prop yourself up. If you're if you're a praying person, pray about it. Uh, but sometimes you just you're your own cheerleader, and mm-hmm. and you have to um, know that that's okay. Mm-hmm. You have to know that that's okay, uh, and, and keep moving forward. Don't let you know one man don't stop no show type of thing. Just just mm-hmm. keep going, yeah. keep going, keep persevering. Um, and get it down. Just do a little bit a day, and eventually, you know, you'll have sixty-five. 000. You'll have seventy thousand words or whatever. And then you right. Go to the next step, but like it, you'll feel so accomplished just mm-hmm. having done. You do that. feel accomplished. Sometimes that's, just that's after a chapter, you know, oh, I got this first chapter. Mm-hmm. Now where do I, you know, write them? Then you start on the next one. So sometimes just take it a chapter at a time, a few pages. Say, I'm going to do 300 words a day. I mean, a thousand may be ambitious. I don't know. That's just something I picked out. And I, had no <laughs> I just picked a number. You know, just say, I'm going to do a little bit and be consistent and stick to it. And eventually you'll get to the end. And then, you know, you can go to the next step. But um, there's a lot of good writing groups out there. I'm on some on Facebook who will encourage mm-hmm. you and lift you up when, you know, you're feeling low. Um, there's a lot of, there's things going on in the community that you can Google, um, like writing workshops and things like that. If you want to sharpen your skills or hone your skills, uh, Mm -hmm. you can look into that. So there are a lot of great resources out there for people. You know, sometimes if you have the money, you can take a a writing class at your local college or community college. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of resources and and then you're surrounding yourself with people like, like you. And, yes. you know, there's great. Yeah. And then you can get some support that way. So that's what I would suggest to do. I love those suggestions. Now, we for to get into it. Mm-hmm. What made you um, come up with this book? I, I, I'm going to be quiet. I want you to have the stage, the show, the platform. Because a lot of times people, they write about themselves. Like with me, I write about myself and mm-hmm. and, and the, the journey and the struggle um, of where I come from. That's that's what I write about. Whoa, but baby, you, you so creative. 
<laughs> you're so creative that it, it shook me. I said, oh, this is good. I'm, I'm going to sit back. I'm going, oh, I can get my glass of wine, but baby, I'm acting like I got some, okay? <laughs> I want you to go ahead. I want you to talk about how did you come up with the concept of this book? How how did you get the characters? I'm quiet. It's, it's all you. It, it's all you. Um, okay, so again, like, and it's so funny, Vanessa, because my friends that... <laughs> That have read the book, they're like, "Oh, I know who it is. I know who that character is." And my friend, I hope she's listening because she said she was going to join her husband. They called me on like a three-way a conference or whatever, and he was like, "I just want to know which one of these characters is my wife." <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it is! It has been hilarious. Um, but again, it's like a little bit of, and some of it is like a, just a little bit of people that I know. Like I may have used somebody's parents to describe or whatever. Um, but a lot of it is just like, if you could be anybody or whatever, or, you know, what would you, what would you do? Or what would you, how tall would you be? Would you be a model? Would you be a, you know, some of it is that. Um, I'm not even sure why I picked four people. Like, it just seemed like a good number. I mean, <laughs> some stuff, that, there's no rhyme or reason to it. I mean, I, I could have, well, the thing was I wanted to do more books. And like, so I want, I would like to dedicate one to each friend, you know, their story, but still giving you enough backstory about them that you know, like you feel like, you know, like my friend said, I feel like I've got, new BFFs now, you know, I'm a part oh, of their life. Wow. And so, um, so that's how I, I took like a little piece of people, I guess, and things I've read, things I've observed, things I may have wanted for myself. You know, I've mm -hmm. never been able anything and not, and not gain shoot. So okay. um, just <laughs> all of those, <laughs> just all of those things and trying to put them into a likable character or, you know, protagonist that is going to go through some real life things. Yeah. And I, feel, and I feel like that's another thing too. It's like everything in there could happen or has happened, is happening now yeah. to somebody. Mm -hmm. So again, relatability. Yeah. And then it was just, um, you know, kind of a coming of age, you graduate, what, what, what's after that? Like, what are we, what are we supposed to do now that we're on our own and we have to navigate this thing called life? Yes. What that looks like. Um, and so I guess part of that was like me going back and reliving my, you know, twenties, <laughs> you know, Without um, took me back. Without getting in trouble, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? So that's that's kind of what I that's I would say that's what I did. It's just took pieces and parts and meshed them together until I got um, friends that I thought were could be your best friend. You know. So let's talk about these characters. Mm hmm. Tell us about the characters. Okay, so there's Kimmy, and she is uh, a young adult. Everybody has, the whole thing is they've just graduated college, right? And now they've got to start. So she is your, I would say, girl next door type. Um, and I don't want to give too much. I don't know how much to say because it's like, oh, how much do I say then? Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. so I don't know. <laughs> just like the girl, girl next door confidant um just wants to have fun right she's just she just wants she's in the time of her life where uh, she just wants to have fun whatever that is traveling or you know dating or whatever and uh she doesn't want she's uncomp she wants to be uncomplicated <laughs> she just no. wants a simple life uh and that's not always what happens, you know, things happen. So um, Jasmine would, I would say she is, uh, and she 
is really loosely based on a friend um, who I'm so proud of. Uh, she was raised, um, didn't have a lot, mm-hmm. and really pulled herself up by the bootstraps. Wow. And now she's doing really well. So that that was kind of loosely based off of a friend. And uh, and I told her, <laughs> I told her too. Um, so, but, but that part is really all that's hers, that, that she pulled herself the, what she's going through and things like that, that's totally just book, you know? Mm-hmm. People like, I said, the book is fiction. No, that happened. <laughs> To somebody somewhere, I'm sure. Yes. But <laughs> I don't know about it. Um, so she she's the pull herself up by the bootstraps. Uh Pearl is um she's in a she's in a good position. She has uh her parents are pretty well off, but she's just uh, you know, homegirl. She's humility, she's there's nothing pre- pretentious about her. Um, a great friend, um, and Kendall, which is kind of where the book centers. She, <laughs> she is, um, how do I, how do I describe her? Um, you know what? I'd be interested like how other people would describe her. Cause my friend, I'm, I'll, I'll tell you about this conversation in a second. Kendall is, um, like her, her girls are everything, right? They're her sounding board. They're her support. They're everything. But now her relationships, maybe not so much. She she struggles a little bit in that area. And um, what I really like about her, and I guess, and everybody else in the book is that they're really big on counseling and mental health, mm-hmm. which is very prevalent throughout the book. And, and I am too. Um, mm-hmm. And I really think I want to do that in all of the books that I write in some mm-hmm. form of fashion. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she's really big on that. And, you know, that's a big stigma in our community still, like after all these years, yeah, uh, that's still a thing, but she really is a big advocate for that. And so that's a little bit about them without giving too much away. Right. Can't give too much. Mm -mm. But I love the fact that you brought up mental health because people didn't really start talking about mental health until like the pandemic, like after the pandemic and things are just going haywire, Mm -hmm. it starts to be more and more on the rise that like, uh, hello, you got people confined in a home where they probably would like the person they with right now. Mm -hmm. Um, They're going through stuff on the job that or they don't lost their job. Everything is on the rise. Mental health is so, so real that it's just, it's crazy. It's really, really crazy. And we need to talk about this. So I'm glad that you you brought this up in your book, that it's something that we need to talk about. It's just something that needs to stay on the table Mm -hmm. to have conversations about. Um, Because I remember when I dealt with my own mental stuff, I didn't know what the heck was going on with me. Yeah, I had no clue. I was like, okay, I know something's going on. Some, something's not right. And it took me a long time to talk about it. Um, I mean, I have lost a whole lot. Like, I met so many amazing people on social media mm-hmm. um, that's been more like family and friends than my own. And we just got to be real with this thing just because somebody is going through um mental health issues don't walk away that's the worst time to walk away from them Mm -hmm. they need you more than anything if it's just to sit next to them and have a conversation if it's to to be able to uh for them to scream out you just hug them if it's just for you to give them a book (laughs) the share to make them laugh it's something that that will help them so i'm loving what you are doing and how you put that twist in it for the characters and it and that right there attracted somebody's attention such as myself because it's so relatable exactly we don't talk about it but you did you said okay i got a twist for all of you guys not a problem i'm loving it i'm absolutely i would tell anybody please get her book i'm not just saying it because I work with her. I'm saying it is because it's going to have you at the edge of your seat. Okay? It's something 
that you'll be like, wait a minute, where did you come from <laughs> with that? How does she think of that? Hold on. It is so, so cool. It's a breath of fresh air. That's the best way to put it. It's a breath of fresh air. Um, it's not, you, you know, a book that's um, degrading people. Mm -hmm. um, it's none of that. It's a book. You say, girl, if you don't come with it, come with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the book. And so I, I, I'm just looking forward to your next, you know, because this is not a book that's going to sit. This is a next to that book. And yeah. I, I, I'm going to say this and I, it's, I've been trying to hold this in. When I say when I read your book and I think about the books that I read before prior to me even writing my own book or helping other people. Um, the things that I, you know, the movies that you will see, um, it made me think like, this is a book. I'm trying to think of her name. She worked with, she wrote, um, oh goodness. Oh my, my, my. She worked with, it's not on the show no more. It's not on TV anymore. You know what I'm talking about. She was a bad mama jamma. Um, Not, not um, get away with murder. Not that one. Oh, scandal. 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 <laughs> That's what that reminded me of. <laughs> you can't wait to next week to be like, what's she talking about now? <laughs> and I'm just saying, I personally, I would not be surprised if I see your book on TV, I would not be surprised if people like Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey reach out to you and say, sister, we need to work with you. I would not be surprised if you get a multi-million dollar deal because the way you came up with these, these stories and these characters for each person in the book is so relatable across the board. Mm -hmm. I would definitely not be surprised. And I, and I pray that God sees that this is bigger than what you ever, and he's going to open up eyes that you never thought, what? I'm where? I'm doing what? I, I claim that for you because that's what I see. And I know, and I tell people all the time, I'm God's favorite, okay? I'm his favorite. You're his favorite. You know what I mean? So when you know that you have something, and sometimes we just don't know how strong and powerful it is, that it is, but then when somebody sees it, child, my eyes have not seen. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. You got me started, Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Lord. Mm, mm. Sharon, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, queen. I am so, so proud of you that you didn't quit. I'm so proud that you didn't give up. I'm so proud. Let me. I got to turn my head because you're working the nerves. <laughs> So this is why it's so easy to work with you because like you believe in your people, you know, like you kept me lifted sometimes when I was like, oh my gosh, what, what, what is this, what is this and what have I done? So you were so great to work with and so positive and spiritual. Sometimes we would just like pray before we started work and mm -hmm. it was so great working mm -hmm. with you. And I appreciate, I may not have said it enough, but I really appreciate all of your help during this whole process. It it did not go unnoticed. Uh, and I probably didn't say it enough. So thank you for that. <clears throat> thank you for trusting me because that's that's huge to trust somebody with your baby. That mm -hmm. that is huge. You just you just don't play with somebody's baby. Mm -hmm. You just don't. And your your book is amazing. It's, thank it's you. amazing. I I I just could see big things happening for you. With, with what you are doing. I just see it. It's really happening for you before your eyes. This is really preparing you for your next script that you're going to write for TV. This Ooh. is going to be your next script that you write for a movie. It's, it's a series to this thing for you. I, I know it. I see it because um, when God gives me something and I try to keep it in and people tell me stop doing that. But um, when he gives me something, it's come off like so like left field type thing. And I'm like, what? It just comes and I just can't stop. Mm -hmm. So it's not me. 
I'm just a messenger. That's it. I'm just a messenger. But I know there's something bigger for what you may have thought of, but you was like, oh, you put that to the side. But now that this book is out, doors are opening for you. You're gonna yeah, walk I don't think big into... enough. I'm like, I, I stay in, in my own little cocoon, yep. which is not good. <laughs> it's not good. I'm mm-hmm. trying to do better, y'all. Mm-hmm. I promise I am. I'm trying to do better. Mm-hmm. Um, and well, I'm an introvert by nature. Mm-hmm. So it's very tough mm-hmm. for me to yep. put myself out there with mm-hmm. social, anything, social media. Like I'm that lurker, but I'm really not the poster. So even to just post that it's, you know, it's available and stuff, that's so not me. So I'm I'm working on that, getting over that and like, you know, putting myself out front. And it's so funny because all of the jobs that I've worked in corporate America, pretty much I've been out front. Like I've been been that person doing the presentations, giving Mm -hmm. the webinars. And but in my home life, I'm not that person. Yeah. Um, I have to turn it off and on. So it's it's interesting. Um, it's just it's it's an interesting time for me right now, mm-hmm. you know. Um I'm at that stage in my life now was like you 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 you've got to do it. If you yeah. say that you want something or you you don't have time to waste at this point, you just you, you gotta, gotta make it work. Yeah. And people don't believe it, I'm an introvert. I can't stand the, the the tension. I can't stand it. I can't. I'm. I tell you guys to do it because I know what it feels like being an introvert. I know what happens when you do do it, um, even if it makes you uncomfortable. Um, but it's the world that we live in. Is everything is on social media, which mm-hmm. is crazy. Yeah. Um, but I know once you get a a, a taste of it. At least you said, you know what? I did do it. Even when I didn't want to do it, I did it. And I stopped going live a lot because uh, my inbox, in- inbox would get flooded with messages. And it's just like, oh, I'm an introvert. But people don't see that. But I know when I open up my mouth, people will listen. So when you open up your mouth, when you write those books, when, you're, when a book is done, people will read it. So I encourage you. Um, from one introvert to another, just to keep doing it. And it's time for you to put yourself first. I'm mm-hmm. learning it. It's yep. hard. Ooh, Self-care it is, is everything. Self-care. Yes, it my is. Friends, my friends and I have been talking about that a lot. It is everything at this yep. point. It's it like if, I, if I'm not cared for or yep. if I'm, you know, I'm not at the bottom of my list anymore from here on yep. out. You know, I, I may not be always number one, but I'm in the top three. Yeah, so I'm gonna definitely take care of myself. Yes, um, because then what good are you if you don't? Yeah. Um, I and maybe agree. that's that's part of the writing too, because I'm an introvert. I can be extroverted, you know, extrovert in my writing. Yeah, and 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 do it that way. Mm-hmm. So I just learned something about myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and it makes you so I'm a proud. Life life. Life. Yeah. And it's like, you you know, people think that, you know, when we get to a certain age that or we get stuck in our ways, we still open to learn. It's just like how we do it may be a little bit slower or how we present it may be a little bit different than other people would expect us to do. But when you when you do it, whoa, <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, you know, it is wonderful with all the things going on. This is like one of probably one of the proudest things I've done. Yeah. You know? um, and and you life. should be. And you should be. My sister just told me, and I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, dang, I can't believe this. My sister told me um, she she relocated recently um, to California. And um, my sister's like, that was like my, my baby because I had to raise her. We 13 years apart from each other, right? And she said to me, she said, the things that you are doing, you don't see it, do you? And I was like, what are you talking about? And so she went down a list of stuff and I was like, oh, I, I did. she said, you don't see it. She said, I need you to start seeing it. But see, I'm so used to taking care of everybody else. Mm-hmm. 
And so now is I'm at this place now where I'm doing me. I have found me on another level. Um, just even out the closing out the end of the year, I took 90 days to do, and I'm still doing it. It's I don't know what it's called, but it's just um like uh, uh self reflection, self discovery, mm -hmm. self transform, self. I'm just so self yep. with me now, right? Because I raised my children, I've done all of these things, but I kept forgetting about myself. Yeah. You know, and I, so I, I'm, I'm loving the fact that mental health you're talking about, we talk self care, we're talking about. We need to do this because we take care of everybody else outside the house, we take care of people inside the house, and then we are on the loud house. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, and then when we get another call, we're trying to fit that in to fix how we can help somebody else, and we don't do it for ourselves. So, I'm I'm so loving that um you just being an introvert. It's still this is so relatable. Good lord. Um <laughs> that <laughs> that you are doing it for you. And my thing is, I'm doing it unapologetically now. Mm hmm. At, oh, absolutely. I don't care what, what my, my children want. Mama, mm -mm. nope, not doing it. Yeah. Anybody, mm -mm. not doing it because I need to include me now. You know, I, I, I forgot about me for a long time. Mm -hmm. And it's time to include me. So, yes, self care, mental health, writing erotic books. I'm just saying. <laughs> It, it it is it has been a it has been a ride mm -hmm. but a good ride mm -hmm. you know uh like you said self discovery mm -hmm. um my friend shared with me so we're talking about self care uh that her one of her kids called her about something in the lives out of state mm -hmm. and was just um in, in a, you know, in some kind of space, but she's like, she had been having a, the worst day. And she said, I, I told him, you have, you, I'm going to need you to call your counselor because right now I can't, ha I can't hold you and me yeah. right at this moment. I, I can only yeah. hold me. And that's huge because how mm. many like mothers would do that? No, we would crash and burn. We would do the child and we would crash and burn. Yeah. And so just to to say, you know, right now, I'm not saying you, you know, don't ever call me, but at in this moment, at this right. time, I just have to have a moment to myself and get yes. my own right. Like yeah. that is so huge. That really touched me. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever done, or maybe I have now, but at that time, I don't think I had ever done that. Nope. You so know, you know I, I, I was just like, okay, just whatever your burdens are, just lay them on my shoulder and I'll, I'm yeah. going to carry it all. Yeah. But you can't, you, you can't, can't carry it all. No, you, you can't do it. Success. You can't, you can't do it successfully and you can't, it's not sustainable at some no, point. You're gonna crash and burn. So don't, don't do that. If you're out there listening, don't, don't take the weight on mm -hmm. uh, the world on your shoulders. It's, it's not, it's not going to work. It's not, not going to work for long. And then I say, you know, you're dead and everybody else is here going on with their lives and, you know. Okay. You know, <laughs> one of my friends said to me, she say, I, um, and now I see what she's talking about. She said, I, sometimes you just don't feel like parenting. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, she said, especially when it comes down to the adult children, you just don't feel like parenting. Because it's stuff that they have to learn how to figure it out. And we can't yeah. keep taking it all in. And then next thing you know, those lessons, we took on their lesson that wasn't meant for us. Mm -hmm. And I said, who? And then one thing um, I've been watching um, is Pastor Keon, I think his name is. He's the one who just married um, Shaq's oh, yeah, yeah, ex-wife. Shana. They are the cutest thing, yeah. shining. Jesus Lord. They give hope. They really give hope. One of the things that he said, um, it, it was a clip that I think it was Mother's Day. And I was like, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, I'm not watching him. Because <laughs> it was the truth. He said, mothers, 
he was like, our children keep coming to us as their saving grace. Mm -hmm. And we take it on when they need to be going to God. Mm -hmm. So he could be their saving grace. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And and it was true because that's what we do. We nurturers, you know? Yes. And I was like, okay, okay, this is making sense. But I come from being raised by a single mother. I'm me being a single mother. You just used to it. And then it's just like, okay. And then being a nurturer don't make it no better. Being an introvert who is a, (laughs) you know, being a servant leader, that's that's what we just do it. Mm -hmm. Then we get burnt out. Then what? Mm -hmm. What happens? You know? So um, we have to do things for us. And we have to be unapologetic about it. And uh, we should not have to explain um, or apologize for it. We should be able to just do it. This should be a topic that we can probably- I was going to say, how do we need to do a podcast? <laughs> this is what I'm thinking. I said, wait a minute now. <laughs> you don't have to have a conversation. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> this is good. I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, we gonna have a conversation. It's so important. It all ties back to mental. Health. It all ties back to mental health. It is yes, ma'am. It's such a big part of of it. You know, this is good. I, okay, we yeah. mean you gonna talk? Because mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. something I'm working on, and I was like, yeah, and I be trying to keep it to myself. I do, I do, <laughs> but I'm just like, man. This is a really good topic that is not only helping me to see things differently, but imagine how many more people needs to hear these conversations that so many people are so afraid and uh, mm-hmm. they shine away from it. Yeah. Um, this is it's a lot. Thing. It's a lot out there. You, um, you like I have that. three girlfriends and a guy friend and we go out to dinner once a month we all went to we all went to school together we grew up together like 40 years probably now we've been friends without telling me for 40 years honey you look good (laughs) don't create that melanin it's it's that (laughs) self-care okay self-care baby yes Um, god but it's but i say that to say we like we can talk about anything. We mm-hmm. we support each other. We talk about things. We hold each other up. And sometimes, you know, like you said, you, if you just you just sit beside somebody, and you just hold that space, yeah. and you don't have to say anything, but they know you're there. Yeah. Um, and we've had some of the best conversations over, mm-hmm. you know, wine and lasagna or wherever yes. we decide to go that month. We've had some of the best conversations. Mm-hmm. Um. I mean, if you just got one person that you can go to yep. and talk. And the other part to that is nothing leaves that table. Yeah. It, it's totally our business. Again. Nothing yep. leaves that table. I don't have to worry about something that I said at that table. Somebody else coming, you know, yep. to me with some mess mm-hmm. that I said. It does not leave that table. Mm-hmm. It's yep. like such a safe space. So everybody yeah. needs a safe space. A space. That that table is such a safe space for us. Mm. And I wish that for everyone because everybody needs that. They do. They really do. They, you know, if <laughs> I just said this to my <laughs> things that come out of my mouth, okay? Shoo. <laughs> I said to uh, one of my clients, I said, she was asking me something I was working on. I was telling her, I said, I can tell you because I know you don't have diarrhea at the mouth. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. You, yep. You want to be able, I want to have a conversation with you, just like you said, and it's not leaving this darn gold table. Mm-hmm. Adults need to have adults' time. And sometimes yeah. it's not with the same sex, it's just a conversation with adults. That's not gonna mm-hmm. judge me. It, oh, that's it. That that's it. Okay, no so we need to write this topic down. Okay, no judgment. Look, my next right book. Here. No judgment. No judgment. <laughs> okay, I'm getting it down right now. No judgment. <laughs> 
it's something I'm working. I'm going to talk to you about right after this that I, um, I'm thinking about doing at the end of the year. And it's a combination of having these adult conversations and it's also self-care. And um, we did it before, but it was just amongst like four people. And it was the most beautiful thing ever before COVID. It was the most beautiful thing. It was like you was just felt when you left, you was renewed, you was refreshed. Mm -hmm. um, nobody, it was no judgment zone. It was like, okay, today's the day I'm tired. I'm going to meet you later. Okay, then you we just catch up later and we could, you know, converse. But it was, it's something that is so needed. And um, we're going to talk about this because I can't get okay. too much. <laughs> Oh my right. goodness, see, this is what happens when you write an amazing book that's so relatable that you go off topic. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's this how you and that's how you look, that's how you can get stories for your book because life yeah. is a story. I, I can't tell you how many times I saw Lord, my family could do a reality show as mm -hmm. as if I'm sure half of America, right? Um, so much going on. So it is that's and that's talked scary. about and that's yeah. not talked about, mm -hmm. and it's that stuff that's not talked about that bothers me. Yes, this this is good. This is some good stuff. This is crazy, but this is good. I, I'm liking this. See, this is why I tell people a lot of people that I've met when I've since I've been writing books has been through social media. When I had my first conference, it was through social media. People. I met for the first time in person and it was like, wow, the support is there. Mm -hmm. They just waited for you because there was, you know, people out here searching for uh, somebody who they could connect with. And yeah. when we don't show up, it's like, I, I tell people all the time, you allow somebody else to struggle when they didn't have to. But if you would have showed up, it could have saved them quicker. Mm -hmm. We never know what somebody else is going through, but we can have a conversation. And in that conversation, you will be surprised if you could just help one person. Mm -hmm. and that one person could be able to help thousands. You know, so I am here for it. And well, I'll, share you know, this. I'll share this since since we're there. I um, was saying to someone, like, I feel like I haven't been the best supporter of people in terms of businesses and things they've started. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll congratulate them because I want everybody to be successful. Yeah. Everybody can be successful. There's enough room for everybody at the table. Yes, it is. Right? Yeah. And there's enough money out there for everybody to get. Mm -hmm. But I was not always that person that shared it on Facebook. Yeah. Like I said, I don't even hardly post. So for me to even share somebody else's, but like, I'm going to do better. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, look, whoever's <laughs> out there, I'm going to do better. Yes. Because um, I will say people that I thought would support me, I have not heard one word from. Yep. So it goes back to when you were, we were talking about supporters. Yeah. People that I thought would never support me have been my biggest yep. cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. So you would be you will be amazed and surprised at who, you know, who your supporters are. Mm -hmm. And they're, you know, they'll reshare my post. And sometimes I don't always see and I try to thank thank you if you did. I don't always see that it's been reshared because it just doesn't come through the feed. If it does mm -hmm. come through there, I try to acknowledge you because like to me, that is so huge that you did that yeah. because I've not always done that. Doesn't mean that I didn't want you to be successful. I just wasn't a sharing, you know, I just wasn't a forward and share type of yeah. person, but I'm going to do better mm -hmm. and be a better supporter of people to God. Like you said, I may have, you know, 200 more people, than they have and it, it just gets around yes it does if anybody on here that shared it um talked about it i so you don't even know how much i appreciate that because that is one not something that i've done the best of uh with others and you just it means so much to me that you took the time to do it and you believed in me enough yep. to share it with other people. So yep. if I didn't get to say, if you reposted it or shared it and I didn't see it or comment, 
please know that I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, I really do appreciate that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing how I remember the first time I, um, I went to, we did an anthology called Cries of a Broken Man, Screams of a Broken Woman. And I, I wasn't planning on writing no anthology. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, what is going on here? And um, I posted it. And as soon as I posted, like 20 people signed up. And then I turned around and a majority of them was, I think, in Maryland area. And so did a book signing in Maryland. And then um, that's when I met them for the very first time. And then I met some other people who I drove, oh, they drove just to, to see me in person because they see me online. We had conversations over the phone. And this one lady, um, I remember her name is Kim, and she stood in the corner. She had came right before we started. And she came in and she just said, you know, said something about me. And I was like, damn, I didn't realize I did that. And it almost not break me in a bad way. Mm -hmm. But I was like, dang, I just did it because I would I want somebody to do those things for me, you know? Right. To this day, me and Kim talk at least four times a week. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> we talk four times a week about it and everything. And again, nothing leaves the table, right? Mm -hmm. So um it's good to be able to have those conversations just like you and I connected through social media. Social media is powerful. It is yep. so powerful. And we could be able to do some amazing things. And I, I look, I got something. Look, we gonna have a conversation. Okay. <laughs> this is absolutely, it's just amazing. It's a breath of fresh air to see another queen wearing her crown very well. You Thank gotta you. adjust your crown, baby. When mm -hmm. somebody say, "Baby, your crown is off," and then it's not tilting, and you wearing it very well, baby, I, I have no problem giving another queen their credit. You wear that crown, and you wear it well. You did that. You did. Thank it. you. You did it, and Thank it's so you. well deserved. I'm just so proud of you to still go through it, even though all the um. The naysayers, even then with the humps and bumps in the road and how long you held on to the book, but then you released the book and look what's taking place. You did that and you trusted me with it. And I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. Thank you. I, I appreciate that so much. That means a lot. It really does. Um, that one, that someone likes it because that's always a fear, right? You put it yes. out there and you want people to like it and to be able to find, you know, something in it that makes them feel something, right? Yes. I, when I put a book down, I, I want to have felt, I'm, it may be anger, it may be something, <laughs> but I don't want to read it and feel like I just wasted, you know, yep. part of my life I'm not going to get back. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's what I wanted to do, you know, when I wrote this book is to have people love it and relate and, you know, pass it on that, you know, it's something that you should read. If nothing else, pure entertainment. Everything can be serious. Oh, pure entertainment. So Laugh, cry. Yes. <laughs> yes. Whatever, whatever it makes you feel, you know. Yes. You feel something. I got the name and I got to tell you offline. I'm writing it down right now. <laughs> I knew it was going to come to me. <laughs> I knew it. I'm, I'm loving this. Woo, child. Let me tell you, I'm loving this. Sharon, when you finally released the book and said, you know what? I'm done with it now. It's ready. Tell people how you felt. What's the emotions that came along with it said, oh, wait a minute. Did I really say I'm done? What was that moment felt like? Because I get so many people say different things and I sit back and I just say, oh yeah, that means you're normal. <laughs> I would say relief, mm -hmm. relief that it's finally, you know, coming to fruition. Yeah. It, that it's finally um, 
tangible. Like when, when I got my copy, that was like so huge to see it because until then, everything is still abstract. You're uploading it, you're doing whatever, you know, you're working on the cover, but there's nothing you can hold. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And so I think that, that was more poignant for me. Like when I got to hold it in my hand, like it's real. <laughs> I don't yes. even think it was real. Even though we were finished and all of that stuff, I don't think it was real until Amazon dropped that package off. Yeah. And I opened it up and I saw my name on there. And mm -hmm. I was like, wow, yep. this this happened. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was like right at Christmas time. So it was like my Christmas present to myself. To you. Yes. Same Christmas Eve, I believe. Mm -hmm. Like late. Yep. <laughs> late at night. I was trying to get them, get them what to get all the last minute gifts out. <laughs> last minute delivery. And mm -hmm. so I just held it. I thought I would like cry because I'm like getting such to be such a crybaby in my old age. But I didn't. Like I was so happy that it was done. Um, and then I was like nervous, like, oh my God, are, is you know, will people like it? Will they yep. get what I'm what I'm putting down? Are they gonna understand why I make the characters like they are because yeah. there's a reason to why they're like mm -hmm. they are. And some of it, some of it is going to be revealed in the next book, but you know, I tried to weave it in such a way that because sometimes the, it's like, I love to hate them. It's like, <laughs> oh, you may not do what I did, but okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to roll with it. Mm -hmm. um, so like you really want people to like so I think that was the next thing is like my nerves like, uh. yep, and then there. there was some issues with Amazon that they were behind on their shipments and I, I know people were waiting and they were reaching out I was like hey I pre-ordered and I'm like I'm so sorry I'm, it's, it's, <laughs> it's ordered I promise there were delays and so you know you can't control it but I felt responsible because yeah. I had I had given out something and I couldn't fulfill it. Yeah. And so, you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. People hate that saying. Now, that's like one of my favorite sayings now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, I can only control what I can control. Yes. That made me a little anxious was I don't like letting people down, right? Yeah. I don't like disappointing people. Yeah. So, but I had to let it go. I was like, you know what, Sharon? It's not in your hands. Mm -hmm. I apologize that. It's running late or whatever, but I promise as soon as it comes, because I'm anxious for you to get it and read it and right. you know, tell me how you feel. So if anybody on here that's read it, go and go to Amazon and leave me a review. That's mm -hmm. like huge mm -hmm. for an author, and um, and I would really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. That is really and, and and Sharon is the best selling author. Hold on now. Yes, ma'am. A best-selling author, girl. You did that. Yes, Can Lord. you believe it? Can you yes, believe it? It's Lord. crazy. It's, it's this whole journey. That's what it is. It right a journey. Mm -hmm. Journeys don't end, right? They just keep going. I don't know. Yes. I'm getting philosophical now. <laughs> <laughs> Next book journey. <laughs> I'm just loving this entire process because the book it, it, I, I'm looking forward to your next one I, I'm really I'm, looking I'm forward writing to it one. I am writing my next one uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to be done I'm not even going to put a date out there or time because um, life happens yes it's happening right now but you know it goes life goes on too mm -hmm. but I am actively working on this second book so if anybody out there is curious as to what's going on in the bff's lives <laughs> know that it's coming yes that's a beautiful that is a beautiful thing because the way things took place in your book is like you left that cliffhanger i said oh come on please tell me she's gonna do another book so oh, yeah, absolutely. That that was that was good. I said, okay, okay, I, I see you, Sharon. I see you. You, you <laughs> working it. 
I, and you know, the crazy part, I never used to read books like that until my friend introduced me to um, Eric Jerome Dickey, Carl Web Weber? Mm -hmm. Web Weber, I believe. Um, Weber. Yeah, Weber. Yeah, Weber. Weber. Um, Mary Morrison, I think her name is. Mm -hmm. Morrison, I think film. so. Um, Zane. Ooh mm -mm -mm. Um, the book is not PG, y'all. So yeah, it's not PG. Mm -mm. I don't know if I don't know how young a young of an adult mm -hmm. they have mm -hmm. in your They need to be in college. They need to be in college. <laughs> Eighteen year old senior right. in high school. It's not Ooh. PG, so mm -hmm. that's my so disclaimer. If I, I was telling, I was saying that to my uncle uh, the other day. He was just like. Flipping through it, I was like, okay, uncle, it's not PG now. <laughs> he, read a couple of pages, he said, mm. Mm -hmm. See? Uh -huh. he's, I don't know how old he is. I would say in his 70s, maybe. He's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it tickled me. I want to record. <laughs> I want to record it that. I've got another trick that I need you to do too. We go see I'm right thinking already. Mm-hmm. I'm writing it down. You see that? Okay. <laughs> yes, Lord. There we go. Mm -hmm. Sharon, please tell them how they will be able to get your book, how they could follow you on social media. Um, what would you want people? What what's to like in your book? Is you know, because it's what 2000. I can't believe we're in 23. This I know it's crazy, crazy right? This is crazy. But what's some of the things that people already shared with you? Um, like the feedback from your book. I want you to give it all to them so they can be able to refer back to this and say, wait a minute, I didn't get the book. I got to go get it because they need to get this book. So you can get the book at my website at Sharon's going across the screen now. But if you maybe not looking and just listening, it's www Sharon's. Old spell the old fashioned way, S H A R O N with an S, right? And it's W R I T E. So www.sharonswright. See a little play on words because my family told me you're always right. Mm -hmm. and they're right. Yeah. So it's sharonswright.com. Or you can go to my Facebook page and it's actually I had two Sharon's Right and Sharon's Always Right. Which I one think be Sharon's Always Right? Yep, Sharon's always right. Facebook mm -hmm. page, and please follow me because I will be dropping information there on the next book. You know, and if you want to pre-order, mm -hmm. if you order through my website and you want it signed, just let me know, and I will get that out to you. You can also order it through Amazon. Mm -hmm. uh, just type in "Joker's Ain't Wild" and you can get the book, or you can get an ebook for yeah. yourself. Get one for you and a friend. Yes, um, that is something you have. What is it? A book club? Book book club. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you were saying like how people. Pe so the response I've gotten so far has been so positive, guys. Thank you so much. Y'all are enjoying it. You're like, oh, it's a page turner, and you know how to hold the person's, you know, capture the attention of the reader mm -hmm. and stuff. So I appreciate that because that's what I wanted to do, and those have mm -hmm. been the books that I enjoy. Like that, and I sometimes I go back. Did I just read what I thought I read? Yeah. Oh my! Oh my! I'm catching the pearls. Oh my! Yes. Oh, I, I I like that, and so that's definitely going to be a theme throughout my books that you see. Um, mm. but my friend, oh my gosh, it was so funny. My friend called last night, and she just she almost went through the whole book. Oh, you did this, you did this, and it and it was so. Funny, ha ha, and funny weird <laughs> that like some of the things that she was saying, and, and it's so funny, like how people interpret the book because everybody has their own interpretation, right? Yeah. When you hear a song or read something, you you usually interpret it from your life, like what I do that, what I do. So some of the things she was like, I can't believe it. It was so interesting, and I told her, I said, I've always been the reader right mm -hmm. I've, I've always been the reader. and my uh some of my family members and friends we used to have a book club 
years oh. ago. And every month we would pick a book and read the book and discuss it. And we would host it at different people's houses and have food and all that stuff. But that was like one of the uh, best things. I, and I missed that. And we did it for like a couple of years. So we got oh. a lot of books read in that time, I feel like. Wow. Uh, plus what you were just reading on your own. But mm -hmm. like, and, and so when she when she and I talked last night, like it brought back so many memories of that book club mm -hmm. because the way she was interpreting some of the things in the book is not really how I meant them when I wrote them, but that's how she saw them. And like, it just like opened up my eyes. I was like, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And then I'm thinking, okay, in the next book, now I'm taking notes. I'm yep. like, mm, I can incorporate some of that. I was like, that's very interesting. How, and I said, I would love to hear people's interpretations of what, you know, what they think I meant or what the character when this happened or when yep. this happened or when this happened, because it's so different. Not always. Uh, sometimes it's spot on. Mm -hmm. like some of it was so different than how I intended it. Not bad or, wor you know, better or worse, just different. Yeah. And that was like so for shit. I was just cracking up at her going through this book to all these parts that she, <laughs> she we did a whole um what is it critique of the book and I would and I actually had her on speakerphone and we were just cracking up in the house about these different parts and pieces. So I would love to like, without anybody like giving secrets away, because if I don't like, I'm not that person that likes to know what's going to happen. Like I want to read it and the same way. Yes. Feel about it. Like I want to feel, I don't want to take anybody's energy into me reading the book. Right. Yeah. Or a movie or anything. Like I'm that person that wants to be surprised. So mm -hmm. without like giving away the secrets and stuff, but I, I would like really love to hear people's thoughts and like Ooh, where you should they, probably do a book club with all the people i need who, to you should do that, that have again. read it that way there's nothing nothing left to chance yeah i would love to do that get together with everybody and just see and, and even kinda, like what the, part what part touched them what part yes. resonated with them mm -hmm. you know yeah, that's what I would like. Even if they are not all in the same area. Yeah, yeah. You could, you could be able to still make that thing work. Mm -hmm. And that's the great thing, like we said about social media. You don't have yes. to be, you know, somebody could be overseas and yeah. we could still get together and, mm -hmm. and do this yeah. thing. I think that would be real. It, it, it just, oh, I, I can't tell you. <laughs> I know it's like, oh, I can't say too much. <laughs> Say too much, but oh, I gotta, oh, I gotta, oh, hold on, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got that down. <laughs> my mind be going like me. I have to write it down, or it's gone. yes, because yeah. it my mind be going like this with ideas like, oh, she could do this, 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 and this. Okay, mm -hmm. hold on, let me stop. <laughs> I'm but I'm super duper excited for you. In this journey, in this writing, in this experience, it's just absolute. You give hope to those people who, who gave up and thought they wasn't there. They can't do this. They can't write a book. That, oh, that's not possible for you. Giving people hope. You know, like they always say, like when you get to a certain age, girl, please don't let it go. Mm, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. We yeah. have to give hope. Somebody is looking for that hope. Like, dang, I have this book over here for X, Y, and Z time. And that book sat there. And now mm -mm, I can't do it. It's, it's, it's just done. Let it go. Mm -hmm. That's not true. That is Especially not true. with writing. Mm -hmm. You know, now you can't go be a gymnast, probably, oh. at my age. Okay. At my okay. knees. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> you know, but writing is like when you people go back to school at, you know, 70, 80 and get their degrees or whatever it is that they've been trying. But like writing is one of those things. Yeah, you if you have the inclination to do it, yes. then you can start that at any time, anywhere, any place. You don't need I mean, you don't need it. Most people have a phone. You can start it on your phone. Um, you jot things down, ideas. And that's what I have um, started doing, like 
Uh, because like now everybody's like, oh, have you thought about it? It's like everybody wants you to write the book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody's giving me ideas. They're like, oh, you could do this. Oh, that would be a good book. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're right. And I'll yeah. jot it down and, you know, maybe I can incorporate it or whatever. And you so you can do that. You can start on your phone and yeah. Email like that's what I did. They said that's the poor man's copyright. Email it to yourself. Email it to yourself. Right? Yes, email yes. it to yourself. Every time I would finish writing something and save it, I would email it to yes. myself. Yes. Email and it to you yourself. can pull that up anywhere. If you're sitting somewhere and you got some time to kill doctor's office, you can pull it up and yep. start reading it and editing it and looking over it and making notes. So and, it's, and save it in your Google Drive too. Like save it in a Google yep. Drive. And that way you can pull up that app from your phone. If you just can't get to your email, you want to be able to start. You got the little ear, yep. ear thing in your, um, in your ear and start writing. Because sometimes those things come to you and you need mm -hmm. to get that down yep. because it was flowing. Yeah. And you could just. Especially if your mind is like ours. Yes. So we're constantly, I say I don't have any short term memory anymore. <laughs> I just, if, if I don't hurry up and say it or write it, it yep. I, it's not coming back to next week. Yep, so that is very constantly, true. yep. Take your take notes, write it. Um, I I mean I don't know. Just just get it down. Just get it down. Get it started, and then you can assimilate it. You know yes. how how do you want it to play out? And that's it. the thing. Like I I I knew how I wanted to start the book. I knew how I wanted to finish the book, but how do I get there in a way that is going to hold my audience's attention? Yeah. That's the part yep. that you got to figure out mm -hmm. and, you know, make it make sense. And so I, I and I'll say this, I thought I knew. So I, and I totally changed. Once I started writing it, I totally changed it. Yeah. Uh, even up to the end, even almost to the very end, one one twenty eighteen. Like I was still, it's like no, I'm gonna throw, <laughs> another, I'm gonna throw another twist in there, you know, just mm -hmm. to keep you, just to keep you going. Um, and so that's the thing; it's weaving it in such a way that holds. And if you don't, if you're not that person, because some people are just black and white. There's no yeah. weaving, you know. Yeah. <laughs> And, and maybe you want to, that's when you can reach out to um, to your supports, like the, the writing group that I'm on on Facebook. And they will, honey, write almost, I'm not going to write the book for you, but they'll, they will give you some really good ideas and things that you can incorporate. Hey, no charge. And sometimes it's just that one person that says, hey, have you thought about this? And it changes your whole you know, way of looking at the book, a uh, thought process, and you're like, oh, that's the one piece that I needed mm -hmm. to make this flow like I needed it to flow. So don't yeah. be afraid to, you know, I wouldn't put my book on there now. I'm not saying that, but there you go. Don't right? you write it? Don't no. put your book on there. But if you want to, some people have done that. I've seen that, and I'm like, why did I, you do I that? I know that they're brave. Mm -hmm. Yep. Don't see my do look. <laughs> be court. Like, yeah no baby i emailed this to myself in 2017 judge no yep. ma'am it's not it's mm -hmm. not hers it's mine mm -hmm. um, i had that um someone with my first book that i held on to like five years um and i was uh, i got the book copyright written and this lady i don't know whatever the company whatever and mm -hmm. it was so when I had uploaded and everything, they had notified me. They said somebody said that this is their book. And I said, it is. And but the crazy part, they did their own investigation before they even reached out to me. And it was like, no, this is definitely your book because we see it all over social media. Mm -hmm. People will do the darnest yeah. things yeah, just will. to get the attention. I just had someone recently in this anthology. And I had to, because I read, I read every chapter and I was like, mm -mm, take that out. That's going to be a problem mm -hmm. because you get so used to it. And so you want to avoid as much as you possibly can, because yeah. there's there got to be that one person that got to be special. Mm -hmm. And that's why I put in all the books that the, at the very, in the beginning of the book, if you ever look at the very beginning of the book, it's the copywriting is right in there in the very yeah. beginning of that book. Mm -mm, I did it on purpose because people special and yeah, we don't need no problems. <laughs> none. None. Because no. I had a totally different title for my book and it was 
I told Vanessa, I was like, you know what? I can't use this because I don't want any problems. I'm not, I don't want to have to get permission from, nope. I just don't even want to have to go through any of that. I just need to find something. And I, I actually like mine better anyway. Yes. Like, there's a word we've been mm-hmm. using in my family forever. So, and I've got yes. like, so I had so many people at work using words. Exactly. <laughs> so I feel like, I feel like it really, it fits me better. It fits. If you know me or whatever, it really fits me better. And, and then the way the, the, the book cover the, do you have the book in front of Witcher? The way you know, I book- meant to. It's like it's not too far. It's like two arm lengths away. Okay, go on, slide over there and go. Okay, over there. I'll slide over there. Because <laughs> <laughs> the way that book cover and, and how the um is is created it gives you the like dang i just need to go ahead and get it because it really draws you in that that book cover really draws you in and then how it just continues and that's one thing that a lot of i have i stopped doing this years ago where it was plain on the back i did not like it i didn't like it like everybody else i'm just different i always want to be like different than what everybody else is doing so when you flip the back of the book there it see look at it you can't oh that book right there child i'm trying to that book right there go have you minds i'm still sitting at the edge of the seat but that book gonna have you on the edge of your seat that book is so good when you want to go on lunch break mm-hmm. you want to <laughs> read you gonna come back you're gonna be late for lunch <laughs> that's what my cousin was like girl i've been trying to clean this house all day i done picked this book up three yeah. times <laughs> And she, she's she's not like a reader like that. Like we mm-hmm. used to be like avid reader. She was not that kind of reader. So to hold her attention. Yes. And if you order the book through my website um, or through one of the links on Facebook and I, if you want me to sign it, I will. And then I also include this little like this little thank you card oh. here. It's like a little book holder, but it's like I like that. Look at and you my, with your book and look at you. And so I hope everybody got one that I mailed it to. And if I didn't charge it to my head, and if you will let me know, I would be happy to send you one. And can I read it? Yeah. And so thank you to my supporters. Words could never express my sincere gratitude for your encouragement, support, patience, and prayers for my for my phone. Uh, can't talk. For my first published book, I'm excited to share my dreams, creativity, and thoughts through Jokers Ain't Wow. I hope you have as much enjoyment reading as I did writing it. Second novel loading. Much love, Sharon. And then it has my website at the bottom. So I'll include this in there, too, with the book little placeholder. Hopefully you won't need it. You'll just keep reading it until until you're done. And 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 it's an easy read. It's a it's yes, an it easy is. read. And that's yes, what I wanted. Is. Like, I know sometimes, and I saw this in the writing group, like sometimes people like a whole lot of fluff, meaning they want you to describe a leaf to death. Yeah. And I, uh, I'm i not mm-hmm. that writer. Yeah. I'm just, I want to get to the juice. To the good <laughs> get so to the, the nitty I want to put enough description in there, then you can kind of form that person in your mind. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to describe a leaf to death. So, yeah. and so I tried to, you know, keep it moving and, and, you know, keep the cadence of it going so that you, you know, want to finish it. So I'm, I'm loving it. I want you to do this. I want mm-hmm. you to take your book. Okay. I want you to read the back of your description of your book. And um, I, I believe that will be just a just it. People need to know what they're getting into. Because <laughs> who said adulting was fun? There you go. Join Kendall and her BFFs on a journey to adulthood and self discovery. After graduating college and been on taking on the world, Kendall realizes that sometimes all you can do is sit tight and hang on. When the past collides with the future, it may threaten everything she thought she knew. That's it. That and right there. I'm just saying. Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm oh, fine. no. I was just saying, if you... I read the prologue to some friends I was visiting in Virginia. Mm-hmm. I was visiting a friend in Virginia and some of her friends went out with us. And I think like three or four of them ordered the, pre-ordered the book, which I was so, because they didn't even know me. It's like, that's when I say like people you don't mm-hmm. know, when you think you don't have supporters, people that you don't even know 
will yeah. support you. Yes, they will. Like they, that's that's her friend. They don't mm -hmm. even know me. Yeah. But they, they're like, you know what? If 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 she thinks you're, if she thinks this highly of you, you can't be all bad. Yeah. That's where I'm at. So they or pre-ordered the book too, which I'm so thankful for and happy about. And she even talked about doing a book signing up there. And she's actually she's in Virginia. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. She's in Virginia. And so we talked about going up there to do a book signing and stuff. So mm -hmm. we'll see how that plays out. That'd be nice. And even if you did some in Nashville, there's a couple of people that's yeah. in um, Nashville that when I, did I go to that? Was I in Nashville? Yeah, I was in Nashville. When I came down there, girl, that was so good. When I came down, there, I was like, yeah, the, but the, what you call them? The hills? Child, they could keep them. You drove? And no, we flew. Me and my daughter flew, but we rented a car while we was down there so we could get around. We went for a conference, my friend's conference. Mm -hmm. And um, dumb darn, I, I remember she going into the driveway of the hotel. Girl, when you get in, you had to go up and then down and then around and then up. I said, what is yeah. this? Okay, Jesus fix it. <laughs> I said, this, this is, is different. different. And I am going to have, I am going to have one or two book signings here. Mm -hmm. As you should. Um, so I will I will definitely let everybody know well ahead of ahead of time. So let, yes, if you want to come, you can plan accordingly. Yep. We and this is crystal light, I promise y'all. Huh? I said this is crystal light, I promise y'all. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Gotta stay hydrated, self-care. Yes, right. it is. Stay hydrated. That that man, that what is it? The water enhancers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, I have a whole bunch of them. I go. <laughs> I'm looking at one right now. <laughs> you gotta, you just gotta drink your water the best way you can. Yes, Lord, I'm just excited for you. you. Just don't understand. I'm so excited for what's to come with your name on it. I am too. I am. I'm excited. For excited you. about the future and where, yes. where it's going to take me. You you are very creative in your writing. And I said that to you in the first time. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, she creative. <laughs> I know, I, yeah. I had I had a, I've had a lot of living, so I should have a lot of creative juice left in me. Yeah. Uh, for these mm -hmm. next ones coming out. Yeah, you you got it. You definitely, definitely, yeah, you got it. You got this. I'm proud of you. I am so proud of you, Sharon. You just don't know. I am very proud of you. I thank you so much for, for trusting me with your book, um, with your vision, um, everything that came along with it. I just, it's, man, you did that. You thank really did. You. you, you did that. I want you to keep remembering, yes, you an introvert. You know, I understand. Yes, those that we thought will support us, they don't. Mm -hmm. But those that do, baby, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they see what they missed out on. I ain't trying to be funny, but they see what they missed out on and they see something in you to support you. And that alone, that's a win. Yeah, that is a win. So I want you to make sure you keep sharing your book. Keep talking about your book. I look forward to your book signings. Let me know how I could be able to help you need your flyers for your book sign. Let me know so I get them out. Um, I'm here to support all day long, all day long. I already got ideas. So we get off of here. I got ideas now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing. And just like, oh, it's there go Vanessa with that homework again. Well, <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I think thank you is inadequate. Like it doesn't convey like all that I feel. Like uh, you know, all of the help and all of the support and kind words, encouragement. Like I just don't feel like that's enough sometimes, yeah. you know. But I don't know any other words other than thank you. Like simply thank you. You are um, so welcome. You are so welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You did that. You you no longer have a book sitting on the sidelines. You have a book. A book it's that's out a there. It, hey, it's a book, out. A book that people wait for the next one. A book that people can't stop, can't even clean their house. <laughs> 
You Ooh. get that. I'm just, I'm so proud of you. I just love to see us win. Yeah, I love Absolutely. that. So with that being said, Sharon, this has been great. There's more to come with Miss Sharon. So you guys stay tuned. Make sure you head over to her website at sharonswrites.com to order her book and get an autographed copy of the book. She has so much in store, you will not be disappointed. So with that being said, it was such a pleasure to be able to be on here with the amazing Sharon, the queen who's wearing her crown very well. And I look forward to many more of what Sharon has to come. So with that being said, good night. Good night. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Vanessa. You are so welcome, my love. Much love. Thank <laughs> you.